there's one thing that is common between all of us and that is our habit of clinging on to the perfect future that perfect one day when everything is going to be okay and we will finally be all right in life i feel i mean this is my concept you may i mean you're free to disagree that no matter how many times you wash your head your hair always do get dirty right it's the same thing with life no matter which problem of yours you solve your life is going to face something new after a few days or after just a few hours i feel that we should not wait for that one mythical day one mythical day by mythical day i mean that one perfect day we all aspire to have when everything is going to be all right and we will finally live our lives because i do not feel that's going to ever happen for any one of us for any one of us i mean holds true for me as well happiness is something that always seems to be around the corner ye ho jayega to main khush ho jaungi wo ho jayega to main khush ho jaungi like for example if i get an appraisal of 10% this year i'm going to be happy if my father agrees for me to marry this boy i'm going to be happy if i go on a honeymoon to paris i'm going to be happy i mean there are always going to be newer ideas in your head something or the other because that's how your mind is you always have new ways to disturb your peace my idea is simple through this video i just want to communicate one thing to you and that is not to wait do not wait for that perfect one day the mythical one day when everything is going to be okay because i feel it's never going to be always okay it's like you know i've picked this concept from anupama show yeah i watch that <laughs> okay so um there's this one dialogue we really liked when she said that that life is like a conveyor belt okay no matter which suitcase you pick from the belt there's always going to be one more suitcase on top of that conveyor belt right so life is like that no matter how many suitcases you remove from that conveyor belt a new suitcase each time you pick one up right and that's how life works so if life is supposed to be like that does it make sense for us to wait for the perfect day for everything to get all right because see i mean i hear these concepts of retirement i mean people say, people talk about retirement retire early okay slog for 50 years of your life and then you can retire peacefully all right retirement good thing enjoy good very good you should save for your retirement but when you retire if you are aiming for that retirement of at the age of 60 or 65 your health is not going to be at the mark where it is right now if you are 20 or 25 or 30 okay obviously obviously the health has its own cycle right see i don't understand why do people keep investing in real estate and this and that and do not invest in their experiences i don't understand if you have a comfortable life if you have some amount of savings if you have a little bit to spend on your medical i mean if something goes wrong with your health you have some provision for that it is very good for you to spend on experiences it is very good for you to go and travel go and enjoy newer places go and meet new people eat new food because i feel this is what truly life is all about if you can afford it go and have some experiences that is your true treasure that will be your true treasure that will be something that is going to actually pull up your spirits when you are down those are going to be the remembrances those memories are going to be the best things about your life right that's what i want to tell you and i mean i know you know it already i don't have to tell you i am no enlightened soul i'm not enlightened at all okay <laughs> i have my own lows i have my own highs i am just like a normal human being just like you or anybody around you is i just feel that sometimes such reminders help i mean these reminders help me so i feel when i speak i want to speak about something like this i should speak on the camera and remind you if possible because you know i mean don't we have a bond i think we have a bond by now it's been so long okay it's been it's been what for five years now you've been watching me and you've been in touch with me and i feel like it's all right you know i mean take it as a reminder take it as a friendly advice from somebody who makes eat exactly the same mistakes as you do but yeah reminder an important one another thing habit of hoarding my mom does that a lot 
a lot. We save the best clothes for the best occasion, for the best possible occasion. We've saved the best jewelry for that one perfect day when it will be the most suitable to wear. What is the point? Use it now. Now is the best day to do anything or wear anything that you have. I'll give you an example. I remember my aunt came back from London and she got my mom a gold bracelet. I was a little kid then. She got a gold bracelet and it was pretty, very pretty. Okay. And my mom kept it. I swear, I swear it has been what? 20 years? Nobody in the house, in the entire family has worn that bracelet in the last 20 years. I don't even remember if it exists anymore or not. And finally, I could, you know, actually there was this flash of memory back to me and I called up my mom. I told her, you know, I remember that bracelet it was very beautiful. You're not wearing it. Get it for me. I'll wear it. And I mean, there's this habit of ours to hold everything good that we have for future. We don't want to use anything right now. We want to wear the worst right now. Our present should look ugly. Our present should be very nominal. But yeah, our future should be beautiful. Why? Because, I mean, future is supposed to be beautiful. We have those, um, I mean, stupid ideas and notions about future. I mean, the simple phenomenon that I want to explain to you right now here is that if you have good things that you truly can enjoy, use them now. Use them today. Wear them now. What are you saving for? Are you even sure you're going to be existent the day that perfect jewelry will be most suitable? I mean, who can guarantee your existence on that day? And who's going to decide when the moment or when the occasion is perfect? You have to decide it for yourself. There's this thing that I read somewhere and I feel is makes sense a lot of sense and that is there is no day like present your present is the most important day try and live a life the way it should it should be lived in future live it now if your present is good at least your past will be good that will be a guarantee no makes sense you must live your life like mortals. Your time is not infinite. You have finite time. No matter what amount of savings you have, no matter how many investments you have, no matter what real estate you've got, everything is finite. Because till the time you exist, these things will hold value for you. The day you do not exist, all of this is going to lose all its value for you. Whenever something stops you from living your life or taking that one small decision for your happiness, just remind yourself आज की इज्जत करना है मुझे आज की इज्जत करना है आज की इज्जत करो कल अपने आप सुंदर हो जाएगा ओके देन दैट्स ऑल आई हैड टू से इन द वीडियो टुडे थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर लिसनिंग टू मी टिल हियर आई एम इन गुड स्पिरिट्स टुडे एंड आई हैव माय डांस क्लास इन अनदर 15 20 मिनट्स सो राइट आफ्टर स्विचिंग दिस वीडियो ऑफ आई एम गोइंग टू डांस आई हैव माय एरोबिक्स लेसन व्हाट आर यू डूइंग व्हाट आर यू डूइंग टुडे लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट्स ओके I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're not going to hoard, you're not going to save everything for future, you're going to spend on your present, on your current. Okay, let's do it.